Okay guys, I'm just going to make a quick video um, showing you how to flash your firmware into your Multi-Wii Pro board flight controller version 2. Um, I'm going to include all the files in the uh, in a link. It'll come in a RAR file zipped and this is the folder right here that you will get. So first thing you're going to want to do before you plug in your quadcopter or anything, before you plug in your board I mean, uh, go to drivers. Um, there's, uh, this would be the 64-bit version if you have Windows 64-bit. This would be anything else, 32-bit. Um, and these are the drivers and the separate folders there. But run those. That will install your drivers and everything. Uh, let that finish. Then you can, you can at that point plug in your quadcopter and it will, down here in the right corner, it will install the drivers. Windows will ask you if you want to search the internet, say no, um, and it'll it'll do it. It'll work just fine. So, next thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, Arduino. You're going to have to install it first, um, I think. Anyway, that'll install it. Program takes just a second to load. Stuff might be taking longer because I'm screen capturing. Usually my thing's very fast. Okay, so here's the Arduino 1.04. Um, it should come with 1.04 in my files, but if it comes with like 1.03 or 2, um, it'll ask you if you want to update the latest version. Just say yes. So first things first in here. Um, for the type of board, you're going to go to Tools and choose... Arduino Mega 2560 or Mega ADK, and then for serial port, well, let me let me plug in my uh, quad. But once you get your drivers uh, installed, then let me find the wire for my quad. I'm sorry. Just plug that in uh, under Tools now. Serial port will light up, and you will choose the communication port that it's on. Mine's COM3. And then again, board Arduino Mega 2560 or Mega ADK. Now, go to Open File, Open. In the uh, in the folder that I've included, let's see what folder that's in. It'd be under MultiWi Pro 2.0 firmware for Arduino. Arduino. Go into that. Um. Use this one, I like this one. And go down to Multiwi 2.1 Edited Final. You can open that file. It'll open up a new window for Arduino. Um, now you really don't need to change much on here. You can you can play with this stuff, you can change stuff if you want to, but it will fly like it is. Um, the one thing you want to change though, and I'm gonna show you, uh, basic setup. If you have a quad um, you would, of course, use Define Quad X. I'll show you how to disable that. Um, two backslashes added onto it, and it goes gray. That's disabled. If you take away the two backslashes on anything and it turns black, that means that's enabled. So, the other thing you want to disable is all the way down. And it's something where the motors will just spool up as soon as they're armed and they stay at a low RPM, which I don't like at all. Um, actually, with my files that I sent you, it might already be set up like this. But usually it comes like this. Usually it comes with um, don't define motor stop. It's it's grayed out. If, if it's like this, just get rid of it. Take off the two backslashes, enable define motor stop. See, the motors will not spin when the command throttle is in low position. This is an alternative method to stop immediately the motors. They have worded it kind of funny, but that's about all you need to do in here. Um, it's already, it's, everything's already programmed to set up. I have it all set up to work with a GPS and uh, everything else. Next thing you're going to do, I'm not going to do it to mine. Um, you just press... If you've already set up your tools like this with the board and the serial port and you've already installed the drivers, you're going to go to Upload 
and it will compile and it will upload this firmware into your MultiWii 2.0 flight controller. MultiWii Pro 2.0 flight controller, I'm sorry. And then you'll be done with that. Close Arduino. No, nothing save changes. Next thing you want to do just to test to make sure your board's working and you have the firmware in there is you can go to where is it? The uh, Multi-Wii GUI. And you might have to install it first right here, but Multi-Wii Win GUI. It'll, when, the first time you boot it up, it'll configure. It'll ask you might, maybe a couple questions. And you can just click OK or whatever. So I'm waiting for this to load up. Um, my quad's plugged in, so I'll show you. Um, the same communication port that you used to write it or the, where your driver is installed um, for your quad to be, your uh, board to be plugged in. So mine's COM3. This speed is fine that it, that it starts up with. Hit connect. And it loads these settings. If it loads these settings, you probably got your firmware flashed in there just fine. Um, pretty cool things. Anytime you make any changes here, these are all the PIDs. I don't know too much about those, so I'm not going to go into it at all. Um, anytime you make a change, though, just hit Write Settings. Click Write Settings. And if you want to read settings, you can do that at any time. Um, so RC Control Settings, this just gives you your different auxiliaries. You can set up your switches to do different things. So, for instance, here's Auxiliary 1, uh, Position Low, which is all the time. It's a two-position switch. Um, it will auto-level because I just want, I always want to fly with auto-level if I let go of the sticks or something on this kind of quad, especially if I'm going to be using it for FPV. On the high end of the switch, I have it set up to do... Uh, auto level, altitude hold, magnometer, and position hold, so it won't move. It'll just kind of hover there. Uh, auxiliary 2, I just have it set up on uh, landing light and LED. I don't really have any wired up. Auxiliary 3, uh, my high position is return to home, and that's if I lose my video capture signal for my eyes and I don't see it anymore. So here we can go to real time data. Um, you're going to see down here, well, here's the compass. You can see when I turn it, the first thing you're going to want to do, this this part right here, will, the horizon will probably not be level. I've already calibrated mine. Go right up here, calibrate ACC, ACC accelerometer. Um, just press that. It'll take about five seconds. And it'll get done. And when that finishes, make sure you think your uh, board's on a level surface or your quad's on a level surface. Once that finishes, Hit right settings. Do the same thing with calibrate mag. But what you do when you do calibrate mag is you're going to have to rotate the heli. It's going to give you a minute to do it. So hit calibrate mag. Rotate the heli 360 degrees like you're doing a 360. Um, rotate the, the heli all the way around in a 360 in the elevator position. like, And then roll it left to right. Forward roll, left to right roll, just do a 360 in all different directions, including um, direction. And that will be calibrated. And as soon as that's done, give it some time, then hit right settings once again. Okay, so here you can see my GPS is working. That's my house right there. It's probably showing my quad over here is a little bit odd, but probably only because I'm in my house. Well, now it's coming closer to where I really am. I'm in this room right here. I'm about right here. But anyway, you can see it shows the direction of my quad. When I turn it, it shows that. If you get the Bluetooth and stuff, you can use this app on your phone. And uh, you can see this live satellite feed on your phone and stuff. And you can actually, you can make routes and stuff on here, but um, I don't know anything about them. I don't even want to mess with it. So. You can start GPS log. You can do logs. Uh, it, it'll show uh, it'll show your longitude, latitude. You'd be able to make any kind of flight route you want and program it in there and would do it. But I don't. I just I just done that. So 
that's about all I want to show you guys. You can hit disconnect after you've write, written all your settings, especially after you do the calibrations, guys. Um, when you out, you need to calibrate this ace accelerometer and the magnometer. It's very important. Um, and the other thing on your remote, I know I've showed it in another video, to arm your motors, see this little arm right here? LED max is on just because that's on a, on a switch on medium position and my remote's not connected to my receiver. So that'll just stay on. As soon as I turn it on, it goes off. Um, arm, to arm your motors, um, hold the throttle all the way down and yaw all the way to the left. And that will arm your motors. And then to disarm your motors, hold your elevator all the way down and aileron all the way to the left. Alright guys, I really hope you find this useful and I really hope my video worked this time. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of mad. So, thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps you. Um, see all the satellites. I'm connected to five satellites and that's inside of my house. I, my phone GPS doesn't work inside of my house. I don't know how this is working. But, um...